Say hello to my little friend. I think we can all agree that this is definitely unavailable talent, but judging by the fact that I said the last one backwards, it is talent unavailable, analysis unavailable. Uh, this is the Star Wars teaser uh, analysis. Um, again, it is unavailable. I'm going to make it available. Uh, first of all, I've noticed that we have a, a certain theme. Uh, for the uh, Star Wars, uh, the new sequel of the Star Wars, because they first of all did the four, five, and six, then we had the prequel, one, two, and three, and now we have uh, seven, eight, and nine, I believe, the trilogy, right? Correct. Okay, uh, so the theme of, of this Star Wars was mentioned by the head main bad guy, Snoke. Uh, it's going to be that the most powerful of the Jedis is going to be between that of the good and that of the evil user, a force user. Uh, again, we don't know whether or not we're, we definitely know we're dealing with the Jedi. We don't know if we're dealing with Sith or not. Um, Kylo Ren seems to be some sort of uh, dark magic, I'll call it dark force magic practice or practicer person, but he is not necessarily a Sith Lord like Emperor Palpatine, um, Darth Sidious, or Darth Vader. In fact, he's not really Darth Kylo Ren. He's just Kylo Ren, which means he is probably not a Sith, and also Snoke seems like he is in tune with his dark side, but he is not exactly uh, a Sith Lord. He is not really a, a Sith Lord, maybe a dark side user, not a Sith Lord. Uh, Darth Vader, again, Sith, uh, Kylo Ren, who knows, I'm not exactly sure about that. Uh, okay, so again, Snoke mentions in the last episode, what was it called, remind me? Force Awakens. You're correct. You didn't even say anything. Uh, I used the Force to figure out that one from me. I brought it from your mind. So the Force Awakens. Uh, sorry, I'm looking to our cameraman, camera woman, for some camera person for some additional details here. Um, but I, I, I literally opened her mind with my use of the Force. So Force Awakens was the last one. Snoke, again, reveals that we're going to do this battle. He is looking. He says the most powerful of the Jedis is going to be between the good and the evil. That's going to be the most powerful Jedi. Um... Now, this, the teaser opens up for the next one. The next Star Wars is called... Return. The Last Jedi, correct. I did your mind again. Not the Return, The Last Jedi. So, Last Jedi, we open with uh, Rey. Rey is a... Uh, she's learning... She seems to be wielding the Force. So some, some rocks coming up. And, uh, and we see a bit of Luke and her on this island, which I believe was filmed in Ireland. I know everybody on this island seems so happy on this island. Everything is by design. I know everybody on this island. Uh, in this island that they ended the last uh, episode with. They ended on the last island, and now we see her training for her, her Jedi, or, or harnessing her Jedi abilities on this, on this island. Um, so it sounds, it sounds like Luke uh, is speaking to her about the training. We see some, some words are exchanged. Um, we hear her words and his words. Um, Luke says, um, what do you see? Ray says, darkness, a balance. Um, Luke then mentions, we hear him say, so much bigger. So we're assuming that whatever they're speaking about is not even meaning darkness and the balance doesn't even tap into the surface of, of what he actually knows. What Luke, we don't really know what Luke knows because we just saw him at the end of Mark Hamill. We saw him at the end of last episode. We don't really know what he actually knows, but he already knows and he already gives us a little hint that it is so much bigger, whatever, whatever secrets are going to be revealed. Uh, or whatever they're setting up for in, in this uh, Last Jedi episode. Um, now, it's, uh, it's time. Uh, this was the, the most, this was a part in the, the teaser, which I think everyone's going to be talking about now, is he said, it's, it's time for the Jedi to end. Uh, why a Jedi would say that is, is the most interesting. Because if Snoke said, or, or Dar Dar Kylo Ren, not Darth Ren, Kylo Ren says, 
uh, it's time for the Jedi to end. That, that would make more sense. But for, for Luke to say that is very, very uh, meaningful. There's definitely some things we're going to have to analyze about that statement specifically. It gives away quite a lot about what's going to happen or what we can... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Infer. Yes, we can infer. Definitely. We can infer that that's what he's going for. Um, that, again, it's a time for the Jedi to end. Uh, and Luke appears to be the one saying this. So my assumption uh, is that he's saying this because maybe, uh, obviously, okay, it's in, we, we know at this point Luke is a good guy, or so we think. He wants to, based on, let's go with that assumption. Again, so we can infer that Luke wants everyone in, in the universe, it's in his interest to eliminate the dark side. He wants to create possibly not a balance towards the Jedi, because as I've learned through my Star Wars experience, that's not what the Star Wars good guys are about. They don't necessarily want a balance in the favor of the Jedi. They're looking for a balance in the Force. They already know there's good and evil. Uh, if you look at South Park the movie, Satan says, without good, there, without evil, there would be no good, so it must be good to be evil sometimes. Without evil, there can be no good, so it must be good to be evil sometimes. So you need that dark side in order for the Jedis to really be good, or else perhaps the Jedis could be evil. <laughs> they played the Old Republic. Uh, it's a video game, maybe some of you played it, MMO. Dark side, the Sith, were actually created by fallen Jedis, okay? So the fact that Luke wants to actually eliminate the Jedi means that he probably is eliminating any potential students or any potential Force users who can be swayed and create, again, the Sith, the bad guys, were created by fallen good guys. So if you get rid of the good guys, you technically also get rid of the... Bad. bad guys that's right so that really is uh is my that's my take on this um the dark side also is known to feed off jedis who was the most famous dark side user we know darth vader thank you darth vader darth vader used to be a come on come on sith lord come on before he was a sith lord he was a jedi good darth vader was a jedi <laughs> so uh yes darth vader was a jedi and he was the most powerful well, up till now he was the most powerful of the dark side users maybe without maybe minus emperor palpatine emperor palpatine was never a good guy but again he learned the sith trade the sith trade was created again by fallen jedis um so that again had something to really we have to focus on that that's what i think they're pulling from the lore again they have a lot of different star wars uh offshoots a lot of different star wars you know uh movies shows video games but I'm taking what I believe is the most relevant, what they're actually going to use for the lore of the movie, and, and comment on that. So my commentary is that, uh, you know, going back to the Old Republic, the game, uh, Korriban, the old Sith relics, all of this was created by fallen Jedis who came to the planet Korriban. Uh, they met a people who inhabited that planet known as Sith people. They were red with some ridges on their faces, a bit like perhaps Klingons. Or Romulans from Star Trek but this is Star Wars don't get confused but something again a red race who the fallen Jedi's one day came to Korriban learned the Sith ways again they were not Sith like like dark uh, force users they were just Sith people and the Jedi fallen Jedi that is interbreeded with them and created this Sith force dark side culture that was all created uh, because of the fallen Jedi so again, without evil there would be no good, so it must be good to be evil sometimes. Evil there can be no good, so it must be good to be evil sometimes. Again, we, we learned they were formed from fallen Jedis. Uh, we have Kylo Ren, we have Snoke. Neither of them are confirmed Sith Lords, but they are confirmed to be knowledgeable, or, or in Kylo's case, for sure a dark side user. Um, Snoke, we know he's very knowledgeable in the Force, but he, he's not necessarily a dark side user. Uh, so again, yeah, we don't know necessarily if Snoke uh, is, is in fact a dark side user, but we do know that he knows what he wants. He's looking for a Jedi who is powerful in the Sith, I'm sorry, in the dark side, and he's powerful in the light side, and this is going to be uh, 
co this is going to coalesce to become the most powerful force user uh, in the entire game. It seems to be some sort of game changer. Now, I want to go back to uh, talking about Old Republic. We had the rule of two. Uh, the rule of two is something that was created by Darth Bane uh, around the time of the Old Republic. So, so Darth Bane, again, I want to refer to the video game uh, Old Republic. Darth Bane was the first uh, dark side user or dark side student to realize that he needed to, uh, the way, the current way of the Sith, there were tons and tons of Sith Jedis. And, and what happened was they weren't as powerful. They invaded the Jedi galaxy a few times, uh, the, the uh, light side, but they weren't as powerful as the Jedis. The Jedis kept overwhelming and beating them. And Darth Bane realized, okay, well, in force of numbers, we cannot hope to beat the Jedis because they always have that uh, advantage over us, not necessarily of numbers, but because we are dark side. We thrive on, I believe in the game they say, uh, hate. Uh, Darth Bane knows that fear is the path to the dark side. Um, and that's what really nipped the dark side, that's what really, not nipped the dark side, but that's what really bit the dark side in the ass, uh, is fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger, uh, anger leads to hate, and hate leads to suffering. Um, that's one. Uh, um, that was the, the, um, the way to, to go to the Sith. Now I'm going to discuss the Sith Code. Uh, the Sith Code is basically how the Sith are able to harness their power. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, we gain strength. Through strength, we gain power. Through power, we gain victory. And through victory, our chains are broken. The Force shall set us free. It's this, it's this culture of hate and victory that leads them to, again, bite themselves in the ass because they were so busy fighting each other because there were so many Sith, they weren't actually able. The Jedi were more of a cohesive unit that weren't really fighting against each other as much. So the Sith were busy killing each other and not focusing on the, the light side, on the, on the, the main battle. And this is where uh, Darth Bane comes in. Darth Bane was the first Sith to say, we gotta get rid of all the Sith, we gotta have a rule of two. There is a, a master and there is an apprentice. And there is only two Sith always. This will allow the Sith to go uh, incognito, uh, incognitus as you call it, undercover, um, they're able to not be detected by the Jedi Order. Um, they're not going to be uh, destroying themselves anymore or destroying the most powerful, or undermining is a better word, uh, undermining the most powerful of Sith users because they won't want more power uh, from each other. Uh, again, you know, part of the Sith Code is to get victory, to, to get power through the victory. They don't want to take that from each other. So if you have only two... Uh, you never have the need really to 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 usurp a power from a more powerful the only person who can actually usurp the power is the student will eventually kill the teacher that's part of the sith of the uh, rule of two this the, when the student i'm sorry when the apprentice eventually surpasses the teacher uh, the master and the master has nothing left to teach the apprentice the apprentice kills his master and takes on a new pupil a new apprentice uh, and that is the rule of two so we don't know at this point if um, necessarily, if they're still uh, using uh, the rule of two, if they're going to actually, uh, again, uh, Snoke and Darth, I'm sorry, Snoke and Kylo Ren are actually using this rule of two. But if they are, or if it's anything with a small number, then Luke knows, and that's why he mentioned, uh, it's time for the Jedi to, to end. Because with the Jedi ending, it also means that this, uh, the Sith is probably going to end. The rule of two will not apply, because uh, if he deprives that master of his apprentice, of a student, and the master is destroyed, then, again, that's the end of the Sith. Uh, without evil, there can be no, no good. So let's put that vice versa. Without evil, there can be no good. Without good, there can be no evil. So that's what I think Luke is going for here. And uh, I really wanted to, to dig deep into that analysis based on the little, um, oh, that, uh, <laughs> sorry, a little bit of um, a little hint uh, it was a really good hint we got from the trailer. So let's see if we can, uh, you know, I, I believe that we're going to see a lot about, specifically about why that is in the episode, but they're probably going to wait for episode three, uh, I believe it's episode nine in the total series, 
uh, to, to get some sort of answer about that. Uh, so, so we saw some old friends uh, in, the, uh, in the trailer itself. Uh, we see Poe Dameron in his ship and I believe doing some other things. Uh, we see Finn who is, seems like he's in a coma. He seems uh, a bit incapacitated. As we remember, he, he did uh, receive an injury in the last episode. So we don't know if he's going to recover. Odds are it's a movie. Hollywood makes magic. He's coming back to life. Um, and then we also, something I noticed that I don't know if a lot of people noticed in the, in the trailer was I saw BB-8. Uh, BB-8, we all love him. He's like a little puppy, uh, robot puppy of the new Star Wars series. Um, he's also the new R2-D2. Uh, that's something else I saw. I saw R2-D2 with what seems to be Luke. Um, it could also be, in my opinion, Kylo Ren. We don't know yet, but uh, we'll, we'll definitely find out um, once in the new movie. We'll find out what R2-D2's role is, since I don't believe R2-D2 was um, in, in the first, uh, in the last movie. We also saw the Jedi symbol. Uh, I know the Sith symbol and the Jedi symbol. That was something that I also saw in Old Republic. Um, so the Jedi symbol, and they show some sort of artifact uh, in the Jedi Temple, so that's also going to be really relevant. I mean, clearly, uh, Luke knows where this is. I believe Snoke made it very clear in, in Episode 7, which is Episode 1 of the new sequel, the, the 3 trilogy, Episode 1 of the trilogy, um, The Force Awakens, that Snoke is looking for not only Luke, but for these artifacts, because he's somehow going to manipulate it uh, for the Sith. Now, in Old Republic, you have a lot of Sith artifacts in Korriban, and we also learn that um, that in Coruscant, where the Jedi have their their uh, uh, training academy and their temple, it was actually built on top of a Sith relic, which is why the Sith have a lot of power because they're able to uh, again be incognito and have a pull because the Jedi don't realize that they actually built their temple on top of an old Sith artifact, and that gives the Sith a lot of power. So, I wouldn't be surprised if either the Sith had something to do with this artifact, um, A, or B, it's, again, something that was built on top of some sort of Sith shrine, which the dark side can use to tap into. Um, however, it appears that either it's, it's not the case, or uh, Snoke and Kylo Ren's abilities are not that of a Darth, a Sith user, to be able, because they're looking for it. They, they don't necessarily, they haven't necessarily... Uh, tapped into it because they you can see it in Force Awakens. They really don't know where it is um, So let's just uh, go also speak about the mask. There was destroyed mask uh, I heard a mention from other um, analysis uh, That it may have or it was definitely Kylo Ren's mask, but I can also infer based again on the episode one on um, episode seven Force Awakens, that it may also have very well been Darth Vader's mask. Um, Kylo Ren, uh, this was another interesting, um, what would you call it? Um, an interesting uh, oh, twist? or Yeah, it was an interesting twist or theory. That's what I'm looking for. It was an interesting theory that um, it is possible Kylo Ren, and this would be a really great twist, would come to the light side in this episode. After killing his father, it would be a great twist. I would really like to see that. Um, Kylo Ren really throw off those shackles and, and maybe do a, um, a, a switch with Rey or, you know, some sort of switch or almost a switch. Uh, that's, that's, all up, that's up for grabs. It's always possible that this could also happen uh, in, in the new um, The Last Jedi. But, you know, uh, as Family Guy says, oh my god, he said it. Ah, ah, he said it! He said it! You know, <laughs> Luke says um, that the Jedi need to be snuffed out. This needs to be, the Jedi need to be extinct. And again, the fact that Luke is the one saying it holds a lot of relevance. It's key, it's extremely important. And I, again, I have inferred because of that, that he's intending on eliminating uh, the knowledge of the Force users. So it doesn't just mean he's going to get rid of the last Jedi, it means he's going to get rid of all the knowledge. So if, you know, heaven forbid, if you want to call it that, uh, there is another Jedi or a Sith user that comes to be, he is not going to have the knowledge to tap into to be able to, to, to hone in or to build his skill as a Force user. He's just going to have that Force ability, but he's not going to be able to do anything with it, or at least not go very far with it. 
Um, as we see in the last episode, Ray probably was trained at an earlier age. We're going to find out. Um, we see in this episode she's definitely um, building her skills, and Luke seems like he's building her as a perfect weapon in order to take out the Sith, to end the story that was created in Korriban. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, we've pretty much covered all our bases. Um, again, I do recommend if you're a good, if you're a Star Wars fan, you have a PC. Uh, it, it's free, as far as I know. You can pay extra if you want to play it. I do recommend paying for games if you like them, if they're a good game. Uh, check out Old Republic. It's a bit old, but the lore is great. I love lore games. Uh, you totally get your money's worth. Again, it's free, but uh, if you do pay, it's worth it. You get your money's worth uh, in this MMO. Uh, great game. Really learn a lot about the lore. It will help you connect the dots as far as uh, what we're looking for in this new episode, in this new trilogy, and what to expect. Uh, again, thank you for coming to my channel. Click that subscribe button. It's right in the corner. It might be in that corner. Whichever corner it is, click subscribe. I'll be really happy to uh, get you guys on board. This was another Analysis Unavailable, brought to you by Talent Unavailable, brought to you by me. Subscribe. Like. Subscribe. Talent Unavailable, out. Let me be your ruler.